Cycling in the park, brilliant exercise and a brilliant way to get some sunshine. But of course, cycling can also be dangerous. You could cycle into a hedge and hit your head. That's why I'm wearing this snazzy helmet. Or you could fall off and get a nasty graze on your knee. That's why I'm wearing these snazzy leggings. And finally, of course, you need to make sure your bike is properly maintained. You wouldn't want to squeeze your brakes and... Uh-oh! My brakes! Oh, my brakes! Oh. Oh. Well, thanks to my helmet, I don't have a head injury. Me neither, and thanks to these leggings, I haven't got any grazes. But on the downside, I think I've broken my arm. Sounds like an injury alert. So, what should you do with a broken arm? Should you A, run around the park screaming, ah, my arm's broken? B, support it to stop it moving using your hand, some clothing or cushions? Or C, tell your teacher you won't be doing homework ever again? You guessed it, the answer is B. Here's how it's done. So, Chris, put your arm against your body gently as you can. It really hurts if I move it. And then what we can do is use Chris's jumper to support the arm itself. So if I go very gently, try not to move oh. the arm. Now remember, we're showing you what to do in an emergency. Never do this on your own unless it is an emergency. Always try and find an adult. How's that? And can you now relax your arm? Yeah, that feels much better. Yeah. More comfortable, isn't it? So once he's feeling better, we can get him to hospital. He's going to be more comfortable when he's moving. We can get him x-rayed and see what's going on. So now it's this lot's turn to have a go. Ow! Ow! That's really good. So try and be very gentle with that arm. How's that feeling? Can you relax that arm now? Feels yeah. pretty good? Yeah, it feels a little bit. So obviously, for most of the time when you've got a broken arm, you don't need to call an ambulance. You can get in a car and go to any yourself. So, if you think you might have broken your arm, support it to stop it moving using your hand or clothing or cushions and tell an adult or call 999. Are you sure it's broken, Chris? Better safe than sorry, Zahn. <laughs> We've got some amazing body tricks to show you. Want to find out how to shrink someone's arm? OK, Zahn, I want you to put your fingertips together and push your arms out as far as you can in front of you, like that. This is a great trick. OK, now I want you to take that hand and rub it as hard as you can on this elbow. Now, tell your mate while they're doing this that you're going to use magic powers to shorten that arm. Ooh, I'm using my arm-shortening magic powers. Ooh. Not too much magic. OK, now straighten. You've shortened my arm. Exactly. Now, to get them back the same length, you simply do the opposite and rub this hand on that arm. More magic, more magic. And straighten. Yeah, that's better. Now, do you want to try it again? No, I won't be able to get my hands in my pockets. Don't be ridiculous, Sand. So, this trick works because as you rub your left arm, the muscles in the right shoulder tighten up, making your right arm look shorter. Your left arm is relaxed and completely untensed, so it looks longer. To get things back to normal, just give everything a shake. So give it a try and see if you can fool your friends. <laughs>